What was E's unforgivable sin? This is a thought that's been bouncing around in my head ever since the release of Dark Deception Chapter 4. For those who don't know, Dark Deception is an episodic indie horror game where the player has to collect these purple crystals while being chased by a variety of terrifying monsters. E is a character who leaves behind secret notes in each level of the game. These notes contain lore details about each monster of Dark Deception, as well as information on E's nightmare's journey and identity. There's not a lot to go on, but I think these notes, as well as other secrets found in Chapter 4, have all the clues we need to figure out why E is here in the first place. Now, I just want to say that this is my first time making this type of video, so forgive me if things seem messy. Okay. With that being said, let's get on with the video. Let's get this party started. Before we dig into what E Sin was, we first have to establish who E is. For starters, E is a woman. How do I know this? Well, in the level monkey business, Beers briefly mentions her previous guest to Doug Hauser, the game's main protagonist. Here, you'll need this. It can detect each shard's location. It was left by the last guest to disappoint me here. A very clever girl. Just not a very fast runner. Her gender is also confirmed in the secret note located in Torment Therapy, the first level of Dark Deception, Chapter 4. This note explains that the nurses only have an interest in preying on the souls of men, so when E arrives at the nurse's hospital, they don't attack her. They even ask if she was interested in joining their sisterhood. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, that looks like women rolling around on those skates. How you doing, little mama? How you doing, little mama? So who exactly is E? Well, besides Beers, there are only a few female characters mentioned in this game, but I think the answer is pretty clear. She is Doug Hauser's wife, Elise Hauser. Deal with her? When do you ever do that? She's your daughter, you jerk! I know when you click on the police reports, the text would read Clarissa Hauser, but on the documents themselves, it says Elise. And in one of the flashback cutscenes, Doug mentions an Elise to his mistress, the secretary. So, I meet you at eight tonight. Elise thinks I'm going out of town for a conference for three days. I feel like the only person who care about where he was going would be his wife. And lastly, E says she remembers a handsome husband, a child, and a bridge in one of her notes. And you know who else is associated with the child and a bridge other than Doug? Doug's wife. You jerk! There are some people who believe that E is actually Tammy Hauser, Doug's daughter. But why though? Tammy was an innocent child. There is no evidence that suggests she end up in this hellscape in the first place. Also, do we really believe Beers would trust the child to do her dirty work? Malik maybe, but Beers? I don't think she would have seen Tammy as a quote-unquote capable soul. Capable souls are hard to find, after all. I'd rather not waste my time waiting for another. And there's that whole thing where Beers literally admits to murdering a child in one of her diary entries. What? What the fuck? Okay, so we now know that E is indeed Elise Hauser. But what was her sin? At first, people thought E was in the dark dimension because she purposefully drove her car off a bridge, killing herself and Tammy in the process. But Chapter 4 revealed that the accident was actually caused by Doug after he switched E's prescription with sleeping pills. So if E didn't pull a murder-suicide, why is she here? If she didn't willingly drive her car off a bridge, then she should be innocent, right? What was the unforgivable sin that caused her to end up in this hellish nightmare in the first place? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I figured it out.
I originally thought of two theories for this topic, but one of them had a little more meat than the other, so I'm just going to talk about that one. Okay, here goes. My theory is that E was an abusive mother. Why you boring me? I'm right! Okay, okay, I know what you're all thinking. What are you talking about? E loves her daughter. That flashback proves it. You jerk! And you are correct. The flashback does show E defending Tammy while betraying Doug as the bad parent. But there's something you need to consider. These flashbacks are from Doug's point of view. They are all shown through his eyes. We don't know what E is like when he is not around. In some of Doug's notes, it hinted that she might have had a problem with drugs and had a habit of losing her temper. She even tried to stab him with a pair of scissors at one point. If that's not sus, then I don't know what is. We should really take into account Tammy's behavior as well. In a psychiatric report found in the Stranger Sewers level, it explains that Tammy was prone to severe mood swings and panic attacks, and that she was exhibiting signs of depression and anxiety. Now, everyone thought that this was because of Doug and his tendency to focus more on his work and other women than his family. All you really need is your money and your secretaries, right? But what if that wasn't the case at all? Maybe Tammy's issues are actually the result of E and what she did behind the scenes when Doug was away. So is it really so far-fetched to assume that E is in dark deception because of abuse? I mean, her wiki even mentions it. But those aren't the only reasons why I think she was an abusive mother. Let's get into the nitty gritty, shall we? She, she can see me? She can see me. Oh my goodness! In the Barely Berry note, it explains that Mama Bear, the main monster of that level, attracts the souls of abusive mothers. And whenever she came near, E would find herself moving closer to her, like something was pulling her towards Mama Bear. Now, some may argue that this was because of Doug's mother, since E said she was planning on meeting her in one of her notes. But that didn't make any sense to me. She felt the pull from Mama Bear because of someone she met? E's note said Mama Bear represents the twisted love of abusive mothers. She collects that specific soul type. So I feel the only way E could have felt that pull from Mama Bear is if she herself was that soul type. Speaking of Doug's mother, you can also find notes written by her in the Barely Buried level. They reveal that Doug's father left his mother when he was very young, and she ended up having to raise him on her own. And as Doug got older and started looking more like his father, her hatred for him grew. She admits to feeling an uncontrollable rage whenever Doug made a mistake, and how she enjoyed hearing him beg after locking him in the closet. She even thought about abandoning him at one point, but didn't in fear of what others would think of her. I guess it's safe to assume that she never had any maternal instincts to begin with, as the note describes. But what does this have to do with E? Well, remember the flashback with Doug and his side chick? He mentions to her how he plans to have Tammy come live with them after he gets rid of E. Uh-uh, Tammy is not the problem. Yeah, she's a messed up kid, but she won't get in the way. See, she's at that age where she doesn't like her mother all that much either. She'll side with me. I found it odd that Doug would want his daughter to come live with him, especially after he called her defective and a mental mess just like her mother. Why doesn't he just leave Tammy to live with her mom and then move on with his secretary? Wouldn't that make more sense? Then I thought back to Doug's mother. 
Maybe the reason he wanted Tammy to stay with him is because he was worried about how Eve would treat her after he left. I mean, his mother hated him for years because his father left her for someone else. Maybe he was afraid she would take her anger out on Tammy, just like what his mother did to him. Plus, I'm pretty sure E coming at him with a pair of scissors didn't help much either. Well, duh. Well, that's it. Sorry for ending this video so abruptly. I couldn't think of anything else to add to my already mess of thoughts, so... Yeah. I did mention that this was my first video, right? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching my theory on Dark Deception. I know it's been difficult checking out new content since the recent YouTube changes, so it really means a lot to me that you took the time to stick around until the end. Also, what do you think Isin was? Do you agree that she may have been an abusive mother? Or do you have a different idea? I guess we'll find out in Dark Deception Chapter 5. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And hey, if you think this channel is worth it, please subscribe for more content. That's all for now, so I'll see you next time. Take care. Hey. Hey. How you doing, little mama? How you doing, little mama? Make that money. Let me throw that cash. Make that money. Let me throw that cash. And I'ma pick it up cause I'm broke. 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 Now they throwing me out, uh. Now they throwing me out.